It's lovely to have you here today. It's really great to have heard you up on the stage talking about the role of the Energy Security Board in supporting Australia's energy transition and indeed net zero transformation. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on where the opportunity is because you discussed on stage that there's a real opportunity for energy management and energy efficiency to be a big part of this once in a lifetime energy transition. Demand response is also really starting to be part of the energy market and you think it could be a bit of a gateway drug, your words, not mine, but I love them, um, to a better two-way market. So with that in mind, what do you think is the biggest challenge that you see in bringing demand side solutions and measures onto an equal footing within the energy market? Well, thank you very much for that question. Um, I think there's two broad fronts of uh, difficulties, I think, of making sure that it can play the role that it really should play. So the first of all is there's a whole bunch of I'll put, I'll put in the technical basket of institutional and rules and all those sorts of things to make sure that the demand side can play. Um, so uh, it's not exactly the same um, as a supply side option, so you just need to kind of figure it out. I, f I feel like that's uh, manageable, though. Um, we, we can sort those sorts of things out and try and make them as streamlined as possible. That's on us to make sure that it's we can, easy as it can be to, to be able to be accommodated other bit which is not really on our side of the fence um, which is to how to make it attractive um, for customers so that they want to do it so we can make it make it as um, a few uh, sort of hurdles on the way but to make it attractive I think that's probably over to others uh, we can do our things on our side of the fence I think it's people probably on your side of the fence Holly but um, I think that's fair <laughs> need to go out and um, and help us help us build the opportunities but then take them take them to the businesses and the customers that can actually uh, realize that potential awesome I, I think that's really important to note the role of the ESB and and other bodies in setting the rules and setting the frameworks and then the capacity for us as industry and indeed consumer groups like energy consumers Australia to work really closely with you to ensure that we're hitting that on both sides if you will to ensure that we can deliver the energy transition I uh, really appreciate you taking the time to chat. Oh, well, lovely to see. You. Thank you very much. Thank you.